In this video, we're taking a look at a brand new template called Hire, and you can see it here on the screen. Now, to begin with, we're putting a nice colored, a solid color background in that top row, which really makes that call to action button stand out there, and you can see it. So, let's take a look at the page overall. You've got the headline at the top here, nice bold white font on that dark background, and then we've got that supporting headline underneath with that call to action button. Now you can see here with this page what we've also done, so we've got the dark background here and then we've got this image below and the image is set to sit directly at the end of this row. So it sits nicely on the bottom where you can see it in line there. And I'm going to show you that in a second inside the live editor how we get that to sit neatly next to each other. So you can see the top section of this entire page is quite strong. It's got just a simple call to action there which stands out very clearly with that green color on that darker background. So going further down, we've used our featured block section here and we're using lots of the little custom default icons that are included inside Optimize Press. You can use these, edit each row, edit any of the text as you see fit for your niche or your business. Now we've included obviously some different texts as well underneath and we've changed the font styling of those texts. So you can go in and in the featured block, go into advanced settings and you can edit the text font if you want. Also change the size, you know, you can change things up as much as you like. So this is obviously laid into a row here as well, which is a nice white background. So the color icons stand out a bit more so people can see the benefits or the features that you are highlighting in this section. Going further down, we've used a full background image into the row here, and then we've got this large play button in the center. If you click on the play button, we open up the overlay optimizer, and inside that we've added a video with a headline and another little supporting headline underneath. And again, that same call to action button color tone brought in underneath the video. So you could get people to watch the video and maybe click through to another landing page or an offer sales page, wherever you wanted to link that through to. So going further down below that, we then included another row. And on the left of it, we've got an image set aside with a link here underneath that people could download your guide. And then we've brought in the color from the call to action button into this font here, this sort of headline font. And then we've used another headline and some text block underneath. So you could use that to describe the product or a free report or whatever it was you wanted to give away. You can see there's lots of white spacing around this row so it stands out clearly with the row above and the row below. Going further down that brings us on to a testimonial section. You can see we've used the testimonials with the color background behind it and these testimonials stand out because they've got a nice um, rounded border and then the circle image underneath that with the company name. And these little images are obviously they're large square images. The CSS is applied to make them round. I can show you that in a second in the live editor as well. But this is a beautiful little section. It stands out nice. The images are nice and small. It just looks nice. You can clearly see each individual testimonial in that row. And then that brings us right down to the last row section, the final call to action at the bottom of the page. If people get this far down, you can always entice them with another button to click in. These buttons don't go through to any um, opt-in form. You can link them through to another page or sales page or another form. Alternatively, you could put in your own overlay optimizer and you could have them pop up with an opt-in form. So this is a nice, simple page, just a very clean layout using a mixture of different elements. And you can see here, it just uses some nice colors and things stand out well and everything's available for you to change. The flexibility is there if you want to move things around and use your own custom icons. Let's quickly jump in the live editor and just see how we line up this image. So here we are in the live editor and you can see we've got the image here and then the row below it. So the row itself, if I open up the row settings and look at it, you can see here what we've got is zero padding applied to the bottom of the row. So that means there's going to be no space between any elements and the bottom of the row. And then what we've done is the same is with the image. So this is an image element we've added in here. You can see images, there's the width. If you go down a bit further, you've got bottom margin. Now that is also set to zero. So that means it's gonna sit neatly on the bottom of the next. Um, when you're looking at HTML turns, it's the div class and you're looking behind the scenes. So it's basically telling it to sit next to the next element in the HTML code, which makes it look like that lovely layout where it sits directly on top of the line or the end of this row border. So when you see things like margin and padding, they're all what's going on behind the scenes. It's basically telling it there's going to be zero space 
on the row and zero margin below the image that's used here as well. So that's how we get that image to sit nicely at the bottom of the row. And you can change this image around with anything. You know, if you're putting in a different type of image, again, it would sit and position itself neatly on top of that image. Uh, going further down, you see we've got the featured blocks here. We've got the, um, you can change these with advanced settings, go in and edit some of the text or any of the fonts. And then if we scroll down, just look at the testimonials. I'll edit one of the testimonials here. You can see this image itself is squared image, but we've used CSS inside the page settings, which tells it to give it a border radius of 50, which puts in that nice rounded effect, making it just look a bit more subtle on the eye rather than having just a sharp square image. And it matches obviously with the rounded corners on this testimonial. So there you have it. That's this page it's called Hire. It's ready for you to download and start using as always. Drop us an email if you're using this in your business. We'd love to see it in action.